is Mike Whitfield with Workout Finishers, and I have a special video just for the people over at Critical Bench. My friends over there got a really cool body weight finisher that you could use, and I'm, I'm even going to show you some substitution exercises if they're too intense. All right. So what you want to do is you want to plug this finisher in at the end of any workout. Okay. And this, what, what this is going to do is, of course, improve your conditioning, accelerate your fat loss, get rid of boring cardio, get rid of boring intervals. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the jump squat. We're going to do 10 reps. Now, the first time you do this finisher, you may want to cut back and maybe not do 10. You may want to cut back to, say, 8, maybe even as low as 6, because it's a lot of volume, because we're going to do this ladder style. All right? So, jump squat. You're going to dip down, jump up, and land in the squat position. All right? So, we're going to do 10 of those. Get four more. Four, three, two, one. And then you're going to go into explosive push-ups. So that means your hands are going to leave the ground. All right? So it's down, up. Make sure those hands leave the ground. All right, that's 10. Now you're going to go back to the jump squat. And you're going to do nine reps. And you're going to go back to, the, back to the explosive push-up and do nine reps of those. And you're going to keep going in that fashion until you complete one rep of each exercise. Now, when it comes to rest periods, rest when needed, okay? So if your form is getting sloppy, take a break. Now, here's an added challenge. Once you're done, the next time you perform this, you perform this finisher, try to beat your previous time. But keep in mind, your form has to be good. Now, exercise substitutions. Whew. All right, what you're gonna do is if you can't do the jump squat, or if maybe you have some, uh, some joint problems and you're concerned about the, the impact on your joints, you can do what's called a total body extension. So you're gonna do a quarter squat with your arms behind your glutes and then extend your hands above your head. And make sure you come up on the toes too. Now you wanna do this in explosive fashion. So it's a slight dip and up. All right, so just like that. So that's an alternative. And of course, for the explosive push-up, you can just do regular push-ups. And if those are uh, not hard enough, you can add maybe Spider-Man push-up. All right. Whatever it is that you find fits your unique fitness level. So plug that in at the end of your workout, improve your conditioning, and we'll see you next time.